Hey, Robert August. This is the Quarantine Chronicles episode two. And we've had a lot of people asking about the movie The Endless Summer 2 here in Tamarindo. And specifically the plane crash where you and Wingnut and Pat O'Connor are on the beach in Tamarindo. Yes. And there's a plane crash. We hear that that is not the full story. Well, it is basically, that's how it started. You know, uh, the guys, the Hollywood crew that was doing the movie uh, connected with this guy somehow. And, uh, you know, we were ready to do some exploration and everything. And they went, wow, with this seaplane, we could travel from Nicaragua to Panama in like two hours and research the whole coastline. And as we know now, there's so much surf, you know. And so <clears throat> they connected with the guy and he's gonna pick us up and we're supposed to, you know, make the deal and then take off and then and then film all this stuff. So <clears throat> we're gonna start it right on the beach, right out here in Tamarindo. And Pat O'Connell and Robert Weaver, Wingnut and me, we're standing on the beach out there and this guy's supposed to land this seaplane <clears throat> out in the water. And he's supposed to stop out there and we're supposed to go, wow. We're supposed to paddle out, introduce ourselves, and go, hey, this is cool, you know? And then we're supposed to agree to hire him and take off on this adventure, exploring this whole coastline. So we're standing there on the beach. He's supposed to land the plane right out here. We're supposed to paddle out and introduce ourselves and hire him. Well, he hits the water out there and he didn't stop. He just kept going and he took off and he went out and he turned and he went all the way back there in the estuary, you know, which is a national park. You're not supposed to do anything back there. It's all protected. And so we're just standing out there on the beach. What's going on? And we could hear his engine. And then all of a sudden the engine started getting louder. And we looked back there and he was coming down the estuary this way towards the ocean. And he hits the water and he's skimming along. And we're going, wow, he's showing off, you know? And then he made a mistake he caught the right pontoon in the water and it was sucking him towards the beach on the other side and to keep from crashing into the beach he cranked it and turned and was coming in our direction he caught the other pontoon and coming right towards the beach and he punched it you know revved up the engines as hard as they'd go to try to get it out of the water well he didn't he didn't make it he hit the beach and crashed the plane that crushed the wing and broke the propeller. And we went, oh my God, what was that all about? You know? Well, and they made it, Hollywood made it look like we were in the plane. And it shows later on in the movie, it shows us getting out of the plane with our surfboards going, Whew, boy, that was exciting. And that's the way it ended. But, uh, Ooh, I'm glad we weren't in that plane. That would have scared the heck out of me, man. But that's how they, you know, they worked it into the story. I wish we could have done that trip because with that seaplane, we could look everywhere at the waves. If you're in a boat, you can't really see what the waves look like because you see the back of the wave. You don't know if there's a reef or a good left or right or anything. But with that plane, we could research the whole coastline. And if we saw some really nice waves, they could land the plane out there, outside of the break. And with all their waterproof equipment, they could get to the beach and film Pat O'Connell and Wingnut and me surfing 20 different surf spots where nobody had ever been. And as we know now, from Nicaragua to Panama, there's so much beautiful surf we could have explored. We could have discovered every one of these surf spots before there was anybody did it. So they made it look like we're in the crash. <laughs> strange.